Wow! This place is amazing! Not bad. <laughs> Last time I was here, the stairs were full of holes. The stairs were nothing. A little while ago, we discovered that the tree above the stage had a huge chunk of bark ready to fall off. Mr. Zubair was worried sick. We reported it to the Academia many times, but they never sent anyone to deal with it. We didn't want anything bad happening, so we were going to cancel all the stage performances. Oh, probably because it was the theater asking. The Academia looks down on performers like us. They probably think it would be best if the theater closed down completely. We can't let that happen, though. Not only would everyone involved in the theater go hungry, but then we wouldn't be able to hold the Subzerus Festival anymore. Thank the Dendra Archon for doing your Zod. But the more she gave us, we hired someone to patch up the tree, and we also gave the stage a much-needed makeover. The stage is going to be even prettier when it's festival time. I can't wait for you to see it. And I can't wait to see you on the stage. You've been practicing so long already. It's almost time for your dream to become reality. <laughs> it's our dream. I'll do my best for the two of us. Nilu, what are you going to be doing at the festival? She'll be dancing the dance of Subzerus, the most important performance at the Subzerus festival. Dunyarzad, have you told them the origin of this holiday? I only told them about the Greater Lord and Lesser Lord so far. Okay, then I'll tell you two about how this holiday came to be. According to legend, the Sabzerus Festival was originally the Goddess of Flowers' birthday celebration for the Greater Lord. A long, long time ago, on one of Greater Lord Ruka Devata's birthdays, her friends threw her a celebratory banquet. Some of the gods got drunk. One started playing music, and the Greater Lord started singing, so the Goddess of Flowers began to dance. As she danced upon the grass, countless beautiful Parisars began to bloom wherever she stepped. Those brilliant purple flowers became her dazzling stage. All the gods clamored, Oh, if only time could stop at this very moment. Huh? Really? Oh, you probably mean because all the gods in this story are no longer alive. Although they aren't around anymore, they're preserved in our tradition of dance. This outfit I'm wearing is apparently based on how the goddess of flowers looked. Though we're just tiny people compared to the divine, we still have to do our best to make sure that the birthday girl feels loved on her special day. Nilu, you of all people will definitely be able to convey our well wishes to the Dendro Archon. I also noticed that you went the extra mile and scattered Padisaras around the stage. <laughs> they symbolize the goddess of flowers, after all. It's just a shame that all the real Padisaras went extinct after her death. Yeah. The Greater Lord brought forth Padisaras in memory of the goddess of flowers. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful purple. Thinking about the Goddess of Flowers dance makes me wish I could have seen it. If my stage were anything like that, uh, I'd be thrilled if I had just two real body Saras on the stage. Uh, so, Traveler and Paimon, what do you think? Interested in the Sabzerus Festival? Will you two be coming? All of Lesser Lord Kusanali's followers will be there for her birthday. It'll be a good opportunity for you to learn more about her. Watch. Those two things aren't mutually exclusive, you know. <laughs> so how about we all attend the Subzerus Festival together? Dunyarzad, let me show you which stage decorations we've picked out so far. Traveler and Paimon, if that doesn't sound interesting to you, then feel free to explore the area. Everyone at the Grand Bazaar loves Lesser Lord Kusanali. And we're all looking forward to the Sabzerus Festival. In that case, we'll take a look around! <laughs> 